What's up everyone, it's Oz with Tow Trucks, Cars, and Energy Drinks, and today we got a tow for a Chevy Corvette. I'm no stranger to Corvettes, I'll be honest with you. Starting out, especially with your company, you learn that you better uh, you know, learn how to tow these sports cars uh, very quickly because a lot of the tow companies don't even like to deal with those, and uh, they're just problematic because they can get scratched up easily, load clearance issues, stuff like that, so I learned very quickly how to tow those cars mainly from watching YouTube videos, and uh, I always owned sports cars myself, so I kind of learned tricks over the years to kind of load them, so uh, the trick is to do it without damaging it and keeping the customer happy because they're usually on edge, but if you look at my videos, you know I definitely uh, towed some real cool cars, and I always have different ways of uh, loading them, uh, which I put on there. Uh, everything from Corvettes to SRTs to hot rods, I mean, man, I've towed it, so. Uh, we're gonna go on over there and uh, get this Corvette loaded up. Uh, hope maybe I'll just mess with them a little bit, make them think I'm a rookie driver, and uh, uh, we'll joke around with them a little bit. All right, so we just pulled up to the Corvette. I got it, brother. I got everything. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. And um, man, that's a nice event. And I really like that white on black. What a timeless classic. Uh, car that's that old still looks so beautiful to me. Mm hmm. Yep. Over by 364? Okay, no problem. Right on. just going to be using these big old 4x4s. Uh, four you like Corvettes? Oh, love them. Six years to buy one. Hey, you know what? Better late than never, right? Yeah. That's cool, man. Just go with the factory. Uh, right on. I really like the white on black. I really dig that color combination. Yeah, but white on black is just as good on some cars, you know. Yeah, no, for sure, man. If you like black, that's cool. I heard that. We're gonna stair step a little bit more. She's low. I always did know this year Corvette did sit really low in the front because they have that splitter on the front there. So we're gonna have to stair step these a little bit more. Not the lowest car I've towed. Yeah. I don't tow those. <laughs> With a very special truck that zero load angle or it's got the airbag suspension and you don't see too many of them trucks. But when you do, they're the big old great big ones. Okay, so now we're gonna go with a soft strap. Just to be super careful. I'm gonna try to go for the axles.
I was uh, not too far at the time. If it, yeah, if it, if your car dies while it's driving, there's a slim to none chance it's gonna just jump start and. You know what I'm saying? That's just kind of, you know, just kind of a rare thing. But it has happened, though. Battery life is all that you have. Right. Come on. I'm going to get my other straps. Right on. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got that right side in. something with these cars isn't it though yeah, well, that's the beauty of it <laughs> gives you something to do yeah oh i'm gonna get one for sure yeah man yeah that's what i was just saying it's pretty much a timeless classic i think you know i mean Yep, you can hot rod it out as much yeah, as you want. Straight exhaust, yep. That's the next step. Performance chip. Okay. There we go. She's in. Now let's get some tension on the line there. Yep, I got to put a little bit of tension on it. Right on. Okay. Man, I like the inside of this car. It's funny how the interior is still kind of like futuristic, you know what I'm saying? Like back then, that was like, oh my god. I love it. The interior is like new. Remember, they had the full digital dashes on the earlier ones, but they always crapped out. Right on. Okay. Just like that. Got to be real easy with her. This is my first time towing a car. Huh? No, for real. <laughs> I never towed a Corvette before. No, I'm just joking. I was gonna, I was gonna mess around with you, but being on the highway and everything, I was like, you know, there's really no time for humor. But <laughs> I ain't scared to call no Corvette. So another couple tricks. Another trick that I learned, as you see, we stair step it like that. Obviously, yeah. you know. But one thing I learned is the faster you can get the ass end up, we don't want to scratch the exhaust system either. You know what I'm saying? But unloading it is always way harder than loading it. But I got a trick for that too. So I said, I ain't scared of no Corvette tow. It's all good. That's 
it. That front lip really scares me, but I learned when you stair step it like that, it it really helps. She looks low even on the bed. Yeah. I like how you put the newer wheels on it. That's freaking awesome. Yeah. Like Did you put those on there? Oh, you got lucky. That, that was part of what I liked. Though. Yeah, because you would have spent 1500 bucks just on the wheels. That's cool. Like the Z06 style ones, yeah. And they're chrome, so it goes pretty good. You got to have a little bit of chrome on a Corvette. You just have to. Yeah. Maybe on like a newer ZR1 or something, but on these, you got to have a little chrome. I like the exhaust, so retro. Remember all the cars back then had them wide tips on them. <laughs> you see those blinking lights down there? Those may or may not be prototypes for something I'm working on. <laughs> What's up, buddy? It's not as fast as I'm going to Well, hey, man, it's not always just about the pure speed. It's about the feeling that the car gives you when you're driving it, too, you know? Hey, well, if that's it, throw a blower on it, call it a day. That, or you can always just throw a nice cam in it. You get a chop cam. Right. All the goodies on it. I'll yeah. take that four by four. Right on. All right, let's get cleaned up and we'll get it. Thank you, good sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, man, I'll meet you over there. I mean, she's loaded up. I just got to strap it down the rest of the way. And this is the easy part to drive in. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll see you over there. Yep. Hopefully we can find parking, man. That place, God, But it's a light car, so if we got to push it a little bit, it shouldn't be too bad. You're welcome. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this so we can get the video short and then I'm gonna do the unload. All right, yeah, the customer pulled in and uh, he was sitting in the parking spot and I'm like, yeah, I'll be taking that spot. <laughs> so he kept it nice and warm for me and uh, now I got a nice spot, which literally there's no parking here as every Firestone, which is good for them. I mean, hey, if they're getting business, it's good, but it just sucks when tow guys need to try to put cars into a spot because you can't just throw them off to the side. They won't be happy about that. Believe me, I've tried. There. Right there should be okay. You coming over this way? All right. Uh, thank you for keeping the spot nice and warm for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's, hey, good for them. They're staying busy, man. I mean, but if you go to the other Firestone down that way, it's completely dead and there's like nobody there. Such a small shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, brother, we're good. I'm going to get her off and. No, I get it, man. I'll send you pictures and everything I've done. I'm going to treat it like it's my own car. Check me out on YouTube, Gianna's Towing. We do all the hot rods and cars around here. 
uh, to give you some reassurance, but right. you can trust me with it, brother. Oh, I do. I do. All right, man. I'll take care of it. Yes, sir. Get the straps off. I'm gonna bust these straps loose. Yeah, strap in the uh. Nice thing about these Corvettes is they actually have nice angled little uh, mini slot uh, in the in them. And um, let me see if I can show you guys here. You see down there? You can't really see. But right behind the wheel, up there is where they go. And then on this side, I just went with the lasso style just to keep it rolling. I like it when the customer's not uh, here. It just kind of makes things a little easier to me. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's gonna get off either way, not damaged, but just something about when the customer's sitting there watching you a lot of times i end up sitting there talking to him because then i don't i'm not as nervous when i'm talking you know so it takes my mind off of it so i guess you could look at it either way now we're just gonna line it up you kind of got to do it on an angle a little bit because i didn't load it straight so i think that's good right there we want plenty of meat to bite up underneath there uh, so that way i could just get a nice seamless roll off of the bed. If you can get them even, that's cool, then we gotta be perfect. The closer the better, because the higher you can keep it longer, the more the car is going to even out so that's why i try to get as much bite as possible with the two by six but yet having enough stick out kind of got to have a balance okay i'm gonna got a little trick i want to show you guys too so here so that's pretty good right there so we're actually going to put the bigger one on the bottom give us a little bit more of a surface area Actually, no, this is longer. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. So we'll just keep it like that. Okay. Should be about right there. All right. And to help with that load angle a little bit more, I'm gonna grab the last couple blocks. And my skates. You didn't think I was going for the skates, did you? You gotta play around with it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I like that better. Beautiful. Make sure they're pinched in there really good. Then we're gonna bring it right up to the tip of it because I might have to adjust it a little bit more. So let's see how it's doing so far. Nah, it's lined up pretty good. I think it'll be okay. It's a really fat tire, so. How's that side? This side I can kick over a tiny little bit. My little trick is just stand down and just start kicking them outwards just a tiny little bit like that. That way it'll bite a little bit more. All right. I think it's going pretty good. 
nice thing is you can always turn the front wheels, but I think it'll be good just loading it straight back. Okay, so she's stuck at the bottom. Um, it's okay, because what I'll do is I'll just take this off. I got enough clearance. I should have enough clearance. Just roll it straight back. Let me see if I can do this actually. Okay. Okay. So basically, what I did there was I just slid it out so that way. Um, it didn't rub against the bed, so. Now it's perfect right there. Now I got a little bit of lift to take my chains out from underneath. There's the first one. Okay, there's my first one. Second. Now I'll just roll this baby off. That's it. She's unloaded. Didn't get scratched or danged or anything. And uh, I could have rolled it off the rest of the way, but uh, I think it was a smarter choice to um, just take the bed out of the equation to give me an extra inch of room. And if I absolutely needed to, I would have took my jacks, jacked up each side of it, and then pulled the bed out. And then that's my little concoction that I made. So as you can see, his lip is perfectly intact. Nothing got damaged. Everything is perfect just the way it was, just like me. I'm kidding, I'm far from perfect, but that's it. So, haters gonna hate, and the other guys are gonna get it done and collect the paycheck. So as always, please like and subscribe. Tow Trucks, Cars, and Energy Drinks, Gianna's Towing, out.